Two rider here, my selections on Sunday the 21st of February. First coming in the 130 at market raising, it's against all odds at 5 to 1. The Laura Morgan stable are in fantastic form at present, with four of her last five runners winning. Against all odds, placing two bumpers at Perth in the summer before making a winning hurdling debut at Catterick in November, beating rivals rated 127, 119 and 121, albeit in receipt of weight. She makes a handicap debut here of an opening mark of 116, on the back of a third place finish in a listed race at Haydock in December, and looks favourably treated in my opinion. With the yard in such good form and with four places on offer, she looks extremely well handicapped on a handicap debut. Second selection is in the 225 at Newbury and it's Clanders over at Evens. Paul Nichols had favourites beaten at 4 to 9, 4 to 11, 5 to 4, 5 to 2, and 5 to 4 yesterday, which is the reason that I think you can still get Evens about Clanders over this morning. This dual King George Chase winner won this race in 2019 when it was rearranged at Ascot, but is also two from two at Newbury, including a Grade 2 Novice Chase victory back in 2016. Pushed Bristol to May all the way to the line in the Betfair Chase on his reappearance this year, where he had a loss in translation 45 lengths further back in third. I think that hard race is probably the reason he slightly underperformed when third in the King George when aiming for a hat-trick this race. Cheltenham is no longer his target, given his poor form at the track, so I expect him to be well ready for this and expect him to be extremely hard to beat. Bonus selection for our YouTube listeners comes in the 325 at Navin, and it's a Ragnar Logbrack at 5-2. He made a winning reappearance on his hurdling debut at Galway and has contested high quality races since. He finished second in a listed race at Cork before failing to concede weight to an impressive winner, Sace Gold, at the same track in December. Connections ran him in the Grade 1 Lawless of Nace hurdle in January, but he was outpaced over the two and a half mile trip that day and could only finish fifth. This step back up to three miles will definitely suit and he should run well.